What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Software Inc. This is episode number 9 and today we're going to make a new building. Yeah, that sounds crazy. But uh, our current building's pretty nice. The only problem that I have with it is if we go down to the bottom level, we've got a very small lobby and that's been bothering me for a bit. It's a lobby fit for a very small company, but it's not one that a large company would typically have. Only two seats that you could sit at. So I want to make another place, like kind of over here I think. We're going to buy up all this land and make it over here, or we can make it over here. Uh, I'm not sure which we'll do. Either way, we have enough money, so uh, let's first go to plots, and we're going to buy, we could buy out all these plots, or we could just buy out this one big plot. Well, we're definitely going to buy this, because why not? Uh, but I kind of wanted to make it over here, but I don't really want to buy up all their land, because that's a lot of land. Well, regardless, we could do it right here. This will be fine as well. We could just have our building right here, and I want to do a new building. Uh, it's going to be kind of... Uh, it's, it's gonna look a bit different than this. So the way we did this is kind of modular We started with this whole thing right here uh, And then we expanded to this and then we expanded to all this stuff and then we expanded up uh, And so this building is gonna be kind of similar, but not as uh, Weirdly shaped. I want to make it a kind of nice shape. So what we're gonna go for we're gonna go for a free angle here And we're gonna start with Well, can I do? No, okay. I was gonna try to do like a floor or something, but I don't know I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with a nice lobby that's going to be 12 it's gonna be a big lobby by it's gonna go all the way so 12 here and then all the way here so that's gonna be our lobby and it's gonna kind of go all the way through so it'll be it'll be one big actually that might not be that's a huge for a lobby so maybe that won't be our lobby but well you know what yeah it will that'll be our lobby right there this whole place right here and then what you're gonna have is uh, you're going to have your elevators off to one side, so we'll say the elevators are going to be... Uh, wait, how big was this, first of all? Uh, this was about... 28, so let's go up about... Let's see. 28 divided by 2 is 14, so let's go to 14. Uh, let's go to 13, rather. And then make a little elevator room here. So we'll have elevators right there. We'll also have elevators over here as well, so on the same, on the same uh, side here. So a little little elevator right there. Oh, this is a three elevator. Hang on, let me make sure that these are even sides, because I think we might have made a mistake here. You are twelve, and you are oops, that's one plus uh, twelve, so that's thirteen. Uh, here's what we'll do. We will here. Let's let's remove. Can I control Z? Yeah, I can. Okay. Let's go out. I keep it's it's hard to click here. So we'll go out thirteen, and then we'll make the room there. So right here. About two. There's the room, and we'll go directly across and make the same exact room. Make sure we're directly across. All right, now let's measure. So we know we have 12 on that side. 13 on this side. 15 minus, oh, so it's 13 and 13, awesome. So we are perfectly even. We have two elevators right here. We're also gonna have to have a little stairwell. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the stairwell next to the elevators, uh, right about here. Uh, and I don't know how big the stairwell's gotta be, but let's, let's, estimate that it's gonna be a five five by yeah something like that so let me grab some stairs and see if that actually works uh, let's see I mean I know we can do something like this but why can I not place this yet I don't know why I can't place that yet. maybe I have to build a room above it I don't know but what we're probably gonna end up doing is using these stairs right here we'll put them right here and then we'll put them facing the opposite way like that over there but uh, but yeah so that's a nice room of five by two let's do the same thing on the other side since we want to have things roughly even okay so we got our elevator our stairs next thing what do we want uh, we're gonna want some rooms off to the side and now I don't know what we're gonna put off to the side here uh, but we are gonna have some some smaller rooms so I think what we're gonna have here is we're gonna have a little hallway a two by well let's go all the way actually a two by, yeah, we can go two by 28. And then we'll have the same exact thing on the other side, two by 28 hallway going all the way down. Oh, we can't, because <laughs> our, because <laughs> we didn't place that exactly even. So we'll have a two by 16, how about that? It doesn't matter that our, our thing is directly in the middle. Uh, it, it just matters that um, it's roughly symmetrical, which is fine by me. Uh, it doesn't have to be kind of symmetrical on the sides. Like it doesn't, they don't have to be exactly the same length. But, uh, but I, yeah, I think it'll be fine. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I think we're going to leave these empty currently. 
We'll add things, like like I said, it's going to be kind of modular, but not as modular as this one. It's not going to have a weird shape. Uh, we're going to add rooms as we need them and the size that we need them as well. Uh, so actually, let's add a core room. And what I want to get into here, the, the, one of the main reasons for this as well, is I want to get into the whole HR uh, team stuff. So like, if we, if we back out of all this stuff here, you'll see that we have this whole, we have like a, where is it? Project management section where you can design, where you can set a leader, uh, there's a way to set like an HR or something and, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and, and so I want to get kind of into that, but I, I, I couldn't really do it here because I didn't have enough space to do anything. So uh, let's build, well, I guess right here we'll build one room. So let's do, well, actually, you know what? Here's what I want to do. I, I like this idea of a shape here where we go out a little bit, like maybe a, yeah, with a 63 degree angle, that's fine. So we go out four and up two, and then over like this. Is this, which one is even? That's even, like that, yeah. How far do I have to go, one over? Yeah, okay, uh, one more. There we go. I'm trying to hook up with this thing right here so we make one big room right here. And then we'll do the same thing here with that same angle. So over one, two, three, four, and down two, all the way over here, and up. So now we have kind of like an, a nice little entrance way here. And what we'll do is the same thing over here, I think, um, with that angle. So we'll do over one, two, three, four, up two, all the way over about, what, 20, 24 maybe? Yeah. And I've got to trace out these things right here. But it's fine. Just get a little bit of tracing. There we go. And next thing, oh my god, this is starting to look really crazy. <laughs> but but uh, it's gonna it's gonna be good. It's gonna have enough room for us to do pretty much anything we want to do in the future. So we'll never really have to uh, like move places. All right, let's bring it right there. Awesome. Okay, there we go. That's a nice bottom story. Now, like I was saying, a lot of this is going to look empty for a while because we're not going to like fill it in quite yet. So uh, we'll fill it in as we need it. First, I want to fill in this area. I think this would be a nice room for a core team. Uh, and the way I want to do this is first, let's make a really nice room for the leader, the team leader. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a four by uh, four like this. Then we're going to go out like that and then boom. Just like that. That's going to be the team leader's office. And then we'll have one right here. Kind of very similar. For, oops, let's do this right here. So yeah, like a very similar kind of office right here. This would be for the HR uh, like person. Oh crap, it's not the same length. Uh, oh no. That, it's fine, it's fine. The leader will have a bigger place than the HR dude. Uh, and I think that's going to be okay. And we're going to have as like a window right here. So it'll be, it'll look, it'll look cool. And then all the standard desks are going to be just like inside here. So the way that you get from the entrance. So the entrance is going to be like right in the middle right here. Actually, let's, we can, we have, we have doors. Let's make a entrance. Uh, where's the middle? Here. Yeah. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and the way you're going to get in is through this hallway. So you're not going to actually go into the rooms themselves. You're just going to go into the hallway. So can you imagine like some dudes coming in for work and they're like, oh, they, like, hey, Barbara, she's the secretary. And then you're like, no, you go into work and you do your th your stuff. So that's how that's going to work. We're going to have our, yeah, that, that's going to be the entrances to the rooms right there. And then uh, probably we're going to have like a door over here as well, like a secondary door. Just kind of like this one right here and we'll have one right here as well so these would be secondary entrances for people who are uh like workers they're coming in from like a different direction they're going to be able to enter the building uh from a different way as well they don't have to go through the main lobby if they don't want to all right that's looking pretty solid for our core team and our core team it's not named core anymore it's named uh remember canvas 2d so this is going to be our canvas 2d room and then this one right here will probably be our canvas and it's a little bit big for canvas 3d so we might split this one right here into uh, two rooms. Actually, let's, yeah, let's do that. So what we'll do here is we'll put another uh, thing right here. Right there, yeah. And we'll split the room down the middle, I think. Just kind of like this. 
There we go. Now we got two smaller rooms. Actually, they're pretty much the, a similar size to this. So, it, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. That looks pretty good. Let's add some doors for you guys. You guys are going to get some glass doors. I like to have glass doors here because, uh, like, you don't want... And we're going to have windows as well. So, typically, offices like this have windows. Lots of windows so that you can see that the person in there is working. And then what they'd have as well is they'd have, like, lines... So if they don't want to be uh, seen, they're pretty good. There we go. And we'll have one right here as well. So lots of windows. Actually, uh, let's scratch that one. Make that one just a normal wall. You got to have some privacy, right? Uh, but I do like these as well. So that if the uh, what this guy right here, the leader, wants to see if the HR, HR person is in, they can just look over and see. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're in. Awesome. Okay, so that's that. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty awesome. Now, let's set up our 3D... 3D, what's it called? 3D, canvas 3D room. So we're going to have a small little office. We'll have a leader office, just like we had with the other one, uh, right here. So we'll go out four, over one, and up. That's going to be our leader office, and we'll have, uh, right here will be the other office. This will be the HR office. So it's so a bit of a different design than this. And I really like that idea, by the way, the, the idea where... It's the exterior is all one design, but then when you get to the interior, uh, rooms are designed a bit differently. They don't have to be all the same. Kind of like this, you can see the exterior, it all looks like one kind of flush thing a little bit. But then when you get in, it's like there's a bunch of different designs here. And yeah. So actually, you know what? This might be like a, like a gigantic break room. And in fact, let's here take those out. We're going to have this be the work room and this is going to be a break room right here. Just because I think it lends itself better to that. So not only just a break room, it's going to be a break room plus a kitchen. So I think that's that's just a good thing to have over here. So let's uh, let's do this. We'll have this be the uh, the HR or the leader room, and we'll have the HR room be right next to it, kind of like this. So let's see. Okay, we're gonna have you're gonna have your door right here, and you're gonna have your door right here that's a pretty good I think that's a pretty good way to do that there we go have some windows right here and you're also gonna have windows right uh, no that's a bit too close I think it's fine when you have like a hallway between you to have windows but when you have just one window between you two it's a little bit weird so I think that's gonna be fine uh, not having a window there because they're gonna have windows on the outside as well which we're gonna put in <coughs> excuse me Okay, so that's that's pretty much that's pretty good. And what we'll do as well, we're not this we're not going to do all this in one episode. We're going to slowly migrate our people from this office building to this office building. So it's not going to be immediate, but we're gonna we're gonna slowly uh, migrate them. Now let me do a little bit of work on the rooms, and I'll be right back. Welcome back. I've done a little bit of work on the rooms. I'm sure it looks a bit nicer here. Uh, so this is our building, and this is the 3D the 3d canvas canvas 3d I, I try to keep saying 3d canvas the canvas 3d room it's not quite done but i've got a couple of of the offices done you'll notice this office right here has a little server uh that's because personally that's a personal touch i like to add because my current boss uh where i work has like a little server in his room or has like a bunch of random stuff a bunch of random knickknacks so uh so i got a little server in here just because i think that's kind of the thing that a boss might have like a like a lead uh programmer might have so uh yeah all the rooms have lots of stuff in them uh, this is our canvas 2D room. It's got lots of stuff as well. Um, lots of plants, lots of nice uh, nice stuff. I think the environment looks really good. It's a really nice environment. I've made a lot of the cubicle areas uh, bigger than they need to be because I, I feel like uh, that's the kind of thing that you'd see. Like where I work, for instance, you have a desk that's bigger than just your computer. You've got a desk that, that can also have other stuff on it. So uh, yeah, I like that idea. Although in some cases, maybe you were cramped for space. So you put two desks in one cubicle area. Or that sort of thing so you see kind of different little designs here uh, the company was trying to like find desks where it could that's kind of how that happened some of the chairs are colored some of them are just gray <laughs> it's uh, yeah I don't know um, but yeah we're gonna migrate our, our uh, canvas 2d team here you'll see I did this with this room right here I made it look a little bit cool and I'm sure you could probably imagine what we're gonna stick in these two areas this one right here is going to be a kitchen where you'd cook food or where we'd hire chefs to cook food and right here we're going to have the break room 
where uh, people were going to come to either eat food or just hang out. So it's a little break room for mainly these two these two groups would have this break room. Uh, and then over here, there'd be a whole new break room for this area. Uh, so, so yeah, and then right here is going to be a conference room because whenever you have uh, project management, you need a conference room as well. And it's a pretty big conference room. Uh, and I didn't actually furnish this because I wanted to show you guys this because we've never done it before. Whereas setting up rooms, we've done millions of times. So uh, let's first, I guess we'll start with the conference room because it's probably gonna be the easiest. We're gonna go to furnish. We're gonna grab ourselves an end table like this. I think a big one might be the best and we can stick it right here. Well, maybe not. Maybe we're gonna need a smaller one. We could try this. So the thing is, if we use a smaller one, we could stick it right here. I don't know if people are going to be able to get into the chairs that are on the side though, but we could do something like, ah, let's do a bigger one. Why not? We'll have a bigger conference room like this, maybe like that. And then we'll see if we can fit one around like that. So it'll be kind of a small conference room. It's not going to have very many uh, chairs, but we'll, we'll stick all the chairs in here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 is good because that's exactly how many people we have in this room. However, I don't know if that's as big as our canvas 3D room is. And also, I don't know if people are going to be able to get to this stuff right here. So I hope they are. But if they're not, then that's a problem. But I, th I think they might be able to. So we should be good. Uh, so that's going to be our conference room. Let's have here. Let's put a heater in there, I guess. And let's get like uh, maybe some lamps kind of over on the sides and eh, not right there. But uh, maybe I don't know what else we would need here. A clock. I mean, that's a good thing to have in a conference room, isn't it? So you know what time it is. Okay, that's fine right there. I think that's going to be all good. We'll paint all this stuff later to make it look a bit nicer. Um, although I do kind of like the gray for like a corporate conference room kind of style here. And obviously we're going with the nice chairs for everybody, by the way. We, we definitely want them to have all the nicest chairs that they can have. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a kitchen. So we're going to look for a kitchen here. And this is another thing that we've never done before is make a kitchen. So let's do this. We're going to have two refrigerators uh, because I feel like two is better than one. I don't know. Is, is, is two better than one? Uh, no, I guess not. Maybe one is uh, going to be just fine. So we'll do something like this. We'll do, what are you, a corner? Okay. We'll do this right here. Have a corner piece. Then we'll have a normal piece right here. These are all uh, counter pieces, by the way. Then here's where we're going to have the stoves. So we're going to have multiple stoves. Uh, and then we'll have... Oh, these are cabinet corners. Okay. We'll have another corner piece right here. Not that, but this one right here. There we go. And then we're going to have some of these. Some more of these. One, two. Just like that. That's going to be our kitchen. It's kind of small, but I think it'll work uh, pretty well. Lots of room for preparation. Uh, we'll have a sink over here. Why not? Um, honestly, we should have two sinks. So let's, uh, let's remove this one right here. I feel like two sinks is better than one as well because it gives you room to kind of do stuff in one and then have like a place to fill up water or something if you need that sort of thing. Uh, cabinets, we can set those up as well. Uh, put some right here. We can have a corner cabinet maybe right here uh, in this area. And then, uh, yeah, that's gonna be fine. We'll set up a, another cabinet right here maybe. And then another one right here. There we go, that's a pretty nice area for chefs to hang out. What is this, stove, oh, okay, stove corners, gotcha. Let's see if we can move these into position. I think right there is fine. And then we can honestly put them here as well. Let me just rotate this around perfectly. There we go. There we go, yeah, so our stoves now look like they're more uh, in place with everything else. And I think that's everything that we need. Um, now this is all new to me, by the way. This stuff didn't used to be part of the game, I don't think. All this counters. Uh, what you would do is you just use normal, uh, normal stuff, normal, normal, uh, whatever they're called. <laughs> desks, normal desks. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so that's all fine right there. That's all fine and dandy. Do I need to add anything else here? I don't think I do. But uh, I think this is a nice room for two cooks, maybe, or one cook even. Uh, maybe one cook here with two. Two uh, stoves, I think, is a good amount of stoves as well. Should I add a corner right here? Why not? Why not? And then should we add this as here as well? I don't know. We'll put it anyway, because why not again? Okay, that's going to be that room. Let's add a lamp in here. So I definitely want them to be able to see. There we go. That's a nice little lamp. Uh, what else are they going to need? I would honestly want them to have a fan. If I were working in here, you'd, it'd need to be cool as well, so... Because it's going to be super hot usually for them. Uh, okay, that's fine. I think that's everything that they need. Let me check. Do they need serving trays? 
I don't think that they need serving trays in here. I'm not sure. We'll see. If, they, if they're not able to work, then we will add serving trays. Finally, let's do the break room. And I'm sure you've also seen break rooms before. I mean, like I've, do, I've done those before. But, uh, but yeah. Oh, we don't have the TV yet. Dang. Okay. What we'll do then is we'll add books. Lots of books, I think. We'll do something like this. Add a couple more bookshelves. Just a wall of books over here. And then over here, we're going to have what will be a TV room eventually. So let's go and grab our sofa. That's going to be where you're going to watch TV eventually, like I said. Uh, we'll have another thing right there. Maybe this won't be a bookshelf. This will be a lamp. I think would be a nicer idea here. Uh, so that's going to be that. And then finally, we're going to have these right here, which are going to be uh, filled with foods and stuff. We'll have two over here. Why not? So this will be the TV right here. So the TV will be right here. Just making plans for the future here. Uh, then we're going to have, let's see, we need a, a vending machine somewhere. So we can stick the vending machine right here. We don't need that many books. There we go. Little vending machine for if you want some food. Let's see what else do we need. We need the serving tray. We need that because we're going to have uh, chefs deliver stuff. So this is going to be the serving trays. That's where the food's going to be delivered. Uh, and then over here, we're going to have... I will have a little plant on the first one, but on the second one, we'll have a little espresso machine. I will also have a standard coffee maker. There we go. And then we probably don't need that, but let's let's add like a plant there as well. A little cactus. Uh, and then where shall we put the water? I think the water will just stick inside here so that people can get it like when they need it. We'll have little water things. Yeah, honestly, that'll be fine. Let's stick one right here as well. So whenever people need that, they'll, they'll just go and get it. It doesn't really need to be anywhere else. Uh, should I stick a sofa in here? This is one thing I sometimes like to do, is stick a little break room sofa kind of inside the uh, the workroom as well. Okay, well, well, let's... Now that we have this whole building pretty much done... I mean, it's kind of done. It's It, it needs a little bit of work still, but, uh, but it's kind of getting there. Let's start migrating the people over. So let's get our... Uh, our Canvas 2D team, and we're going to see if we can bring them over here. So let's call this right here our Canvas 2D room. So let's switch team here to Canvas 2D, okay? And then we'll switch teams on this one to not Canvas 2D, I guess. Yeah. And let's see if they move. All right, let's see what you guys are up to. Uh, I think they've... Oh, wait. No, they're leaving for the day. Okay, so they're probably going to move in the next day. So let's, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's wait the day out. And let's see what happens here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So they, they made it into the room. And now they're all hanging out over here. I don't know where they're headed. Oh, we don't have a bathroom in here. You know what? That's one thing that we forgot. So we will have to add a bathroom somewhere. Uh, honestly, we might just take a chunk out of this, this area right here since it is kind of huge. And we'll add a bathroom right there. Uh, but for now, what they're going to be doing is they're going to be running all the way across to the bathroom. And I think that's that's okay for now. We're not, it's, not, it's not a big deal. It's going to cost a lot of money over time, though, because it's a long run and they'll be not working while they're doing that run. But uh, but for now, like I said, it's going to be okay. Do the lights turn on when you guys... Yeah, the lights turn on when you guys get in. Okay, that's awesome. Let's uh, hire a chef as well. That's something that I wanted to do. Manage staff. We're going to hire a cook. Yep, so he's hired. And I, don't, I guess he'll come in the next day. I don't know. Uh, as far as these go, let's stop support for Canvas 3D. How do I? Okay, yeah. Cancel support for Canvas 3D. Uh, yes. Cancel support for Canvas 2D 1991 because that's pretty much... Oh, wait. No, there's a lot of people on it. Never mind. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't even check how many people were on Canvas 3D. I, I was just looking at the bug fixes. No, yeah. We'll, we'll keep support for this one. Um, Canvas 3D, though, because we just released Canvas 3D Pro, we don't really need to be supporting Canvas 3D anymore uh, since Canvas 3D Pro is taking that over. Canvas Direct is going to be releasing in February of next year, I believe, if we can see that uh, right here. Right here, yeah. So it's not released yet, but it's getting there. Uh, 3D Train is our training program, okay. Marketing, yeah, we're marketing that as well. Actually, this, this should be up here with Canvas 3D Pro. This should be down here below Canvas Direct. Uh, let's release this. This was our little press release. Let's take a look at it. Uh, well regarded, blah, 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 cutting edge, blah, blah. Okay, awesome. Hopefully that just gives us some followers and that'll be, that, that's all we really need from that. Uh, all right. It looks like we've got all of our teams kind of settled in. 
Uh, you are the janitor, I, I guess, coming over from the other building. But uh, but it looks like we have everything working pretty. Oh, right. We wanted to do some some uh, project management stuff. So let's do that. If we can figure out how to do this. Uh, let's first we need to hire a lead. So let's hire a lead with high salary. Uh, look for everything here. Go all the way up. Begin looking. We're going to be looking for a Canvas 2D team. Looking for a lead. Great is good. So I guess we're going to go for great. You're 50, you're 45. I'm going to go for the 45. We'll hire you. You're our lead for Canvas 2D. Do we need an HR person? I don't know if we need to, like, I don't know if we need to hire a new person and then train them in HR. Sometimes that's how that works. Um, let's, yeah, let's hire a, I don't know, an artist. What, what does HR usually do? We'll hire a programmer. Um, I have a designer, why not? With a high salary for HR. So we're gonna train them in HR. Well, we'll hire for a low salary because then we're gonna get young people. And someone in HR who wants to stick around for a while is good. Uh, stick you on the Canvas 2D team. Look for great compatibility and boom, you're a new HR dude. Okay, let's take a check here. Make sure that we've got everybody. Uh, manage teams, we're gonna go to Canvas 2D. We're going to uh, click HR management. Canvas 2D. Manage roles, maybe? Oh, what the heck? This is different. Okay. I didn't see this. All right. I figured out how the bar works. Um, essentially, if I hit relative, it scales everything so I can see kind of what this is. But it goes by their base skill, not their skill in uh, in, in a certain specialization. Uh, and I guess so the base skill is what really matters, <laughs> which means a lot of our programmers aren't really very base skilled, which means after we release Canvas Direct, I think what we're going to do is we're going to send everybody on training. Uh, for six months to train in honestly their worst thing or well at least send these two right here these two to train in programming and then uh, our artists we can probably send to pro to do art and we'll send Barbara to do that but Michael Mi Michael is going to be our uh, our HR person that's the person we just hired that's what I was confused about so we need to try and try and get that set settled so let's manage teams here we're going to HR management enable that the team leader must have taken a course a course in HR management. Oh, okay, the team leader has to. So we don't need an HR person. The team leader is the HR person. Okay, I thought that was, I think that's different from what it was last time as well, uh, because I thought they were the same person, but in reality they are not. Okay, well then in that case, sorry person we just hired uh, named Michael, you are going to be fired. We're going to give you the boot. All right, you are going to educate on HR, maybe HR management. How long is that? That's a six, oh, that's a six month course. Okay, start education on that. That's gonna be fine. Uh, since technically you're really new, so you're not actually part of the team quite yet. But once you come back, you should be good to lead this team with HR. And I guess we don't need an HR room, so we're gonna have one extra really high end office for somebody. But, uh, but yeah, I guess that'll be fine, maybe. Okay, what else do we have to do? Uh, we'll move these guys in next episode, I think. Um, what do we need to do for this episode? Let's speed things up, go to the next day, see what has to happen. Give everybody raises. All right, that's perfectly fine by me. We're marketing this. Should we go to the... Yeah, I guess we should go to the release of this. Why not? Um, since it's so close to the release. Let's do... Let's see what marketing has to say. We can do a press build. Why not? Yeah, let's do a press build, and then tomorrow that thing's going to come out and blow everybody away. Do we need more parking, by the way? Uh, we could buy these guys out and make their houses a parking lot, I guess. And I think it's going to be fine. Okay, while everything's going super fast, let's let's hop into... Actually, it's not going super fast while we're doing this, but let's hop into here, and let's, uh, let's make ourselves a desk. So, I don't really know how I want to do this, because the desk is so small, kind of. So, I think what we'll do is we'll have... Well, let's first make a waiting area. So you'll have chairs everywhere, like this, and probably something like this, I think. Or maybe take this out. We'll take these ones out as well. We'll move them a little bit, so we'll have it like kind of like this. And then we can add an end table in there, if we hop over down here. Go to our little end tables. Pop one right there, and one right there. Uh, and then... Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Actually, you know what? Let's let's exchange 
yeah, let's just have one end table right there. And that'll be our little, that's a little waiting area. Uh, and then I don't know what we want to do over here, but something like... Oh, do we have plants, actually? Yeah, let's get some plants. There we go, that looks pretty nice. Um, maybe something like that. So you walk in, it's a bunch of plants. We can do the same thing over here. Uh, maybe over here we have like a little snack room or something. I don't know. What do people typically have in, in waiting rooms? Yeah, how, I, honestly, I think you guys need to tell me what, I, what I'm going to put here because I don't know what I'm going to fill all this space with. Maybe it'll just be a one big empty space. That's definitely a possibility. I've definitely seen uh, waiting rooms like that where it's mostly empty and it's just like a big hallway. But uh, but I'm, I'm not sure what we want to put here. Let's get a little painting right there maybe. One right there as well. A couple little paintings. Pretty nice. Um, I mean, we're going to put her somewhere. Maybe she'll be facing this way. I don't know. Um, we could have a vending machine somewhere. That's definitely another idea. So we could throw one of those. Look, have double vending machines right here or something. And then maybe like a water fountain as well. Or one of these at least. I don't know. We could probably put lots of stuff in here. Let's, uh, for now, we'll put our little secretary desk in there as well. Why not? There we go. Secretary desk will be right there. So you enter, you see the secretary off to the right. She probably says, uh, uh, they'll, they'll you be seated and they'll come see you in a second. So then you go get seated and, uh, that, that yeah, that's how that works. Let's migrate our secretary over. And the way we're going to do that is simply by destroying her desk. Actually, is it a he? Yeah, it's a he. <laughs> I've been saying her every, this whole time. Uh, secretary is a he. So we'll migrate our secretary over. There he is. And honestly, you can just wait right here. People are going to come in. They're going to sit down. Uh, fortunately, we have more than one of these now. So that's good. Was our cook here today, actually? I didn't see the cook. Let's speed up time again. We'll see if our cook shows up the next day. Because I'm, I'm kind of eager to see my cook. <gasps> the cook! It's food! Wait, wait, hang on. What's he making? What's he making? Does it tell me? Currently in use. Currently in use. Serving tray. I don't know. There's someone waiting to use it. He's making some sort of soup. That'd be awesome to work somewhere where they actually cook for you. Like, wouldn't that be so cool? Like, you come to work and you've got, like, a gourmet food selection for you. That would be super awesome. Our room is dirty and needs cleaning up. Okay. Uh, like I said, we're going to go until we release the next product just to see how well that does. Uh, actually, we didn't even read our press review. Blah, blah, blah. It's, it's, it's actually looking okay. All right. That's awesome. Um, how many bugs will be fixed? Quite a few, actually, for Canvas Direct. And by the way, when it when when that gets released, it's going to be a. Are you guys eating in the? Guys, you don't eat in the conference room, you fools. It's a conference room. Can I? Can I? Uh, I think I can label these rooms. Limit room usage. This is a conference room, meeting room. This is a break room. I guess it's called a canteen, maybe? No, I don't want to apply style. Limit room usage. Uh, lounge, maybe? I think we call it a lounge. Lounge slash canteen, maybe? I don't know. And this is going to be limit room usage for kitchen. I don't think we can do that. I don't See, I don't know what canteen versus lounge is. I don't know the difference between those. Uh, so we're just going to say anyone here. This right here is going to be a, or this right here is going to be a leader's room. So it's only for leaders. Uh, this right here, can I make this an HR room? I don't know if that's possible. Nope. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's, oh, you guys have been tracking dirt. Uh, yeah, and this is also going to be a leader's room. So, the, oh, nope. Two leaders, awesome. Uh, and then let's set all these rooms here. So these three. Are going to be switch team to canvas 2d make sure that's the one selected and then this one right here will do canvas 3d switch team to canvas 3d so they can use that if they want i don't know if any of them are going to try to migrate over since there are technically two desks here or one desk rather that can be used by anybody but um they might i don't know Let, let's see if you were if you were part of the canvas 3d team working in this kind of situation would you migrate over to like take this desk i might that's a pretty nice place even though the, the whole room's not really uh, done, but yeah. 
All right, Canvas 2D 1991, we can quit that marketing. That's, I mean, their support's going down anyway pretty soon. Um, not this one though. We're gonna keep marketing for Canvas 3D Pro. Uh, 3D Train is actually getting done very slowly. Can you imagine if that eventually becomes like an actual thing, like an actual product? 3D Train. <laughs> become, how'd you come up with the name? No, it was, for, it was for our training people. Just became a product. That'd be so funny. We're still making mad profits here, by the way. Like, crazy amounts of money. But you, oh, you are probably a designer. Wait, that's Andy Mouse. Why are you an artist? That's weird. I think I may have set him up wrong. All right, we're in January. One more month until we release this. We're losing some followers here. Should we go ahead and do a quick press release? We could. I mean, it won't, it won't take very long to... Well, actually, we're not going to even get it out. So, cancel that. All right, here we go. We're going to go the next day. And then, oh, we're losing profits here. Why are we losing profits suddenly? I don't know. Maybe we're not selling enough Canvas 3D Pro. Actually, we did lose a lot of support for Canvas 3D Pro, so... Um, we'll keep marketing it, though. We're going to release this one, and hopefully this one does pretty well. So we'll release that. Do we want to start a marketing campaign? Yes, we're going to go for $20,000 uh, marketing campaign. And we're going to print new copies as well. We're going to go for... Uh, Two million, I think. Two million is usually a pretty safe number for me. So we're gonna go two million. We're gonna go for this right here. So that these are right next to each other. I like having them right next to each other. It helps me out a little bit. Uh, so let's go to the next day to see if this one is a hit or a flop. It could be, oh, wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have a research. A 2D research nonetheless with a 6% royalty. We're gonna research this, 1994. It's currently 1994. Oh my God, we're researching this. Uh, let's go with uh, R&D, both teams start researching this, let's go. And if something else comes out, we'll like, yeah, we'll get them to do that. We got 0% done, really? Uh, let's wait till the next day, see if we're, our game is a hit, or our thing's a hit. It is indeed, it is a hit. Nice. Some equipment broken needs IT. Sure thing. We can just call IT in. Uh, call IT. And one of the reasons, by the way, that I wanted to build a bigger place is because I do want to hire IT and maintenance and etc. But I don't have a place for them to stay because currently what they do is they hang out right here. They just sit on the on the things. So I didn't really have a place for them to stay, uh, which means in this place I'll probably make them a room, like a specific room for them. Uh, especially cleaning, since uh, yeah, we need definitely need that. Uh, review of Canvas Direct. Ooh, it's a big one, too. Enco's released it, and they've already well-known, blah, blah, blah. We already know Enco Inc., and they're very popular in the graphics community. Canvas Direct is overall well-made product. It's a very complex piece of craftsmanship. Runs very smooth. Uh, it's packed full of art, but it's passable. It will be competing with Picture Premium 9. Wow, okay. It might be worth the price. Awesome! I will take it. Might be worth the price is exactly what I want. Um, so we wait till the next day as well to see what, what, uh, what happens there. Also... I should honestly hire a bunch of algorithm people for this, shouldn't I? Let's look at you guys. Yeah, because you're, you're requiring a lot of algorithm stuff, and we don't have anyone here who's versed in algorithm. So what we're going to do then is we're going to fire our whole R&D1 team, and we're going to hire new people. So let's go ahead and manage employees uh, for R&D1. Research and development one. That's two. Research and development. Take all of them and fire them all. Sorry guys, are you sure you want to dismiss one? No, I want to dismiss all. Let's, can I delete? Does delete work? I guess not. We'll dismiss them like this. Oh yeah, don't ask again, definitely. Don't ask again, I want, I want you to fire immediately. If I say fire. Oh, that's the same dude. All right, just fire them all. And we're gonna hire algorithm people. Because honestly, what I, what I wish I could do here, I don't want to fire them all, but what I want to do is I want to have them on a contract basis. These are contractors. So their their contract wouldn't extend past the, uh, the research date, essentially. Because we need a new type of person for, for every new research. We need someone who's uh, good with algorithm or someone who's good with something else. So uh, we're going to go for a bunch of people who are very good at algorithm stuff. 
and we're going to hire them on the R&D 1 team uh, for how many desks? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have 20 desks. Let's hire 20 algorithm people. We're looking for programmers with algorithm specialization, high salary, because they're not going to be around for long. So begin looking. We're going to hire uh, compatibility for R&D. We're going to go for this guy right here. So I'll hire you. And then we're going to look for great compatibility. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That makes 11 people so far. Now let's search again for some designers. We'll get five of those. So we'll go for designer, algorithm, salary high. Begin looking for R&D one. Great. We'll get one, two, three, four, five. Finally, we want some designers because I want to. I want to go all around, kind of. Oops. Let's go here. So looking for designers, algorithm, high. Awesome. Begin looking. Amazing. Ooh, one. Oops, that's for marketing. Whoops, sorry. I hired another marketer. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> R&D. Uh, great. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. We should have everybody in now that, uh, that will be very good for researching this. So algorithms should go up pretty fast. And so once again, these guys are on contract basis. They'll be, they'll be contracted. Actually, the algorithm is blue, which means it probably wanted uh, designers, I think, for that. And we only hired five designers, but it should be fine. We've got everybody working um, over time for this. Hopefully, we'll, we'll get this in time. Uh, oh, yeah. We have a small little hole in our in our place. That's just a place I didn't really want to uh, utilize. It's just a little kind of little closet. And, it, yeah, in reality, it would be like a little supply closet and everything. Okay. Uh, how's our thing doing? Our thing's still doing pretty well. Let's make sure we have enough copies. Go to our releases. Look for uh, Canvas Direct. It looks like, yeah, we have enough. We have pretty good active users. That's pretty, pretty good. Profits going up. Oh my God, Kings and Surfs. I remember this. That was our worst profit game. Our best profit thing so far has been Canvas 2D 1991, uh, followed by Canvas 3D and its counterpart, Canvas 3D Pro. Actually, that might surpass that, honestly. I don't know. Uh, we're going to cancel support for Canvas 2D 1991 since the new edition has kind of technically come out. Uh, and I think that's where we're going to end the episode. So we worked a lot on this new building, which kind of actually looks like a person. If you can imagine, this is the legs and this arms and stuff. Um, and then you have like a head up here or something. Hey, it almost looks like a person. But uh, we spent a lot of time working on uh, making this work. And next episode, we should migrate the Canvas 3D team. And then every episode from then on, we'll, what we'll do is we'll, like at the start of the episode for like five minutes, we'll migrate a team over. So we'll eventually we'll end up migrating the R&D team. <laughs> and uh, we'll have our big research and development hub, I guess. But anyways, if you guys like, like this episode, hit that like button, put your comments down below and your suggestions as well. And I'll see you guys in episode number 10.